and then they came home as a documentary uh, that will feature 12 uh, Marine Corps veterans who fought together during the Second Battle of Fallujah, Iraq, uh, and uh, chronicle uh, the story of November 22, 2004, and how that one day uh, changed their lives forever. The 12 people saw the same thing, but came home 12 different ways. It's still, even through photographs and pictures, it's still kind of hard to grasp what they probably have been through, because it's still that barrier that you have there. It's just a picture and stuff like that. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to help them tell their story so that, in a way, civilians like myself could better understand something like this. I think about it at least five or six times a week, seven, eight times, you know, I mean, it's pretty much constant in my mind. As far as the, the genre goes of military documentaries, I don't think I've, I've seen one where a person from the unit makes a story about the people who fought there. I'll have a lot of nightmares about uh, flames and, you know, you just see shadowy figures, but there's, you know, the flickering of the flames or I'm in a house trapped while it's burning down around me. I was always interested in film and while we were over there, I'd, I'd taken film. Uh, and uh, we, we just all had a digital camera in our pocket and people were taking three second clips of film everywhere. And I, I just had hours and hours uh, donated to me. It was, a, but it's amazing stuff. It's everything from, you know, routine silly stuff uh, to uh, violent, uh, horrific uh, things. But it's shown through the eyes of the people who were there. And I think as far as combat goes, I can't think of another generation where people were just walking around documenting what was going on. I get a picture of this one. Oh, I did. And yo. I haven't seen a lot of these guys since I fought with them, um, and uh, it's it's just been it's been years, but but we're all so close, and I I would have given anything to go to go see them. There's a person in that we that I served with from that day in a Texas prison. Uh, there's a couple of guys doing fine uh, working jobs, and they have families. I've had kind of a, a mixed road. That's why I want to focus on uh, everybody coming home different. Uh, and I'm very interested to see, uh, you know, who, who was affected by what and what, you know, what surprises there are within the story that, that I don't know about.